Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the better channel, which is the build 22623.1028. This is a small build for the better channel that brings a few changes and improvements and of course fixes for both versions of the better channel. If you enjoy these videos, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Before starting the video, a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by KeysFan.com. KeysFan offers cheap and legal Windows Office and software licenses with big discounts in the month of December. For example, you can get the Windows 10 Pro license for just $10 by using the coupon code TB50 and you can also upgrade for free to Windows 11. By using the coupon code TB50, you can also get Windows 11 Pro for just $13. Office licenses have even a better discount with 62% off by using the coupon code TB62. Check out the great prices from keysfan.com in the links from the description below and don't forget to apply the coupon codes. Thank you to keysfan.com for the sponsorship. Let's continue with the video. Before talking about what has changed and what is fixed, don't forget that in the article below in the video's description, you're going to have more info about how the better channel works and why there are two different builds on the better channel. First of all, we can talk about some fixes in general. Microsoft fixed yet another explorer.exe crash that happens repeatedly in the safe mode. Regarding the task or and system tray, Microsoft fixed an issue where with the system tray design updates, auto-hiding the taskbar would stop working after you had interacted with the hidden icons flyout. They made a small refinement for tablet-optimized taskbar users to make it a bit easier to expand the taskbar without invoking the start menu. They fixed an issue which could lead to the taskbar jump list and preview thumbnails not appearing in the correct position for insiders with two-in-one PCs. They improved the transition animations when switching between collapsed and expanded views of the tablet-optimized taskbar. The tablet-optimized taskbar should collapse apps now reliably after launching an app from the start menu. They upgraded the battery icons tooltip to let you know if your device is charging slowly. They fixed an issue causing the top half of the media controls and quick settings to be missing sometimes. They also fixed a GDI handle leak in recent builds related to receiving certain types of notifications. This could cause UI issues or explore.exe crashes for insiders who receive a lot of notifications. They also fixed an issue that was causing the Nvidia icon in the system tray to show empty notifications. Regarding the search box, Microsoft fixed an issue causing search to not work in previous flight or insiders with ARM64 PCs. Regarding the settings app, they fixed an issue where the slip recommendation on the energy recommendations page and battery and power page were sometimes inconsistent. Regarding the task manager, task manager colors in light and dark mode should display correctly now for people with their mode set to custom. And fixes for the both builds, 22,621.1028 and build 22,623.1028, they fixed an issue that affected some games and applications this issue was related to GPU performance debugging features. This lowered the expected game performance. And also a known issue that you need to note in this beta channel, and I think this is pretty important, is that the search box buttons didn't really work correctly in this build in the task manager. As you can see, I typed explorer and it just froze and it's going to say task manager not responding. This is a known issue. So basically, this is all there is to it in this build. I think this is a cool little build, but it has that annoying bug that makes the search box in the task manager not responding. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechMe channel with the notification bell activated. And of course, don't forget to check out the article below in the video's description for the full list of known issues. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.